How's everybody doing? I, I began to show you the seven root. What is the seven root over here? Here's the seven root on one side of what is the ace and the ace can be divided, right? So we have the left side and the right side. By creating the right side and the left side, I got seven. You got the ace in the center that could be divided and then the F. See the way the F is taking up two areas in one area? This is the same thing as splitting our alphabet in half right over here, right? Right through the seventh gate. So the same thing could be shown over here. One, three, five, seven, where number six connects to both what is five and seven, 5GTV. So once we get this understood, okay, we're going to go to the dice cube. Does eight fit with six? Six. Does eight fit with six? Eight. Does eight fit with six? There we go. So now we know that. Now we're going to bring it over here. And I have to go into the centers of everything, right? Everything starts in the center. Like 7.6.5. Everything is the half inning. You get the, the whole number is in the center. Does that mean you're starting at 60 and finishing at 69? Or are you starting at 56 and finishing at 65? How are we going to understand where that 9? But that doesn't matter. What matters is how we place this. See, I place it in between the halfway area of the 7 over here right and when i do it you see i'm down here but down here is a row below i'm below the surface why don't i put it up to this area well i can't because then i become inside of this area over here well then why don't i squeeze this over here if i squeeze that over here and get the exact center right i'm going to take this image and show you right over here you see this this image fits right over here is that a perfect square? Should I be doing that, right? Or if I did it this way, I would be in between the four area. That would be seven, four, and you see the four area down here? Or should I be doing it this way? Stretching it out over here. So everything has to be questioned why we're doing this. And when we do it, what shows up? See that right over here? And we put that over here. It shows up right here. And when you see, it reaches to the corner here. So that's one of the stories. When I do it the other way, it reaches over here. So when I take this, see the way it's offset? The minute, the more I go up, the more you start to see the top of the building, right? So the more I go down, I bring it back into its position right over here. Hold on a second. There we go. And we're in position over here. So now we're below the surface. If I was to do it again, where would the next one go? Would I bring it into here? Would it be inside over here? Can it fit inside over here? Or would I have to be stretching down here and starting from this area over here? Now I would bring this all the way down. And I would start it here. I drag it all the way out, halfway in between. Let me see if I can which one I'm going to do here. Hold on a second. Right. So we do it here. So you see the way it matches up in between here and here. Now I'm getting above and below, but this is the reverse alphabet. My alphabet of 26 letters is going to go one up through to seven, six, then one area, then six areas, then over one up Connecting seven and over, and I have my 26 letters of the alphabet. Why don't I go down? Because I'm going by twos when I go down. Should I be going down to one over here? No, this is a complete different area. I'm starting completely over again. Here is my seven below. Here is my seven above. And over here, I connect two and two numbers. I have a four set area. Let me call that Mars connecting area. The single area I call Earth. When I get a four area, I'm going to call it Mars. Mars is a 22 setup. Earth is a 33 setup. The total is 55. I will use four squares. And for Earth, I will use nine areas. Inside of this is the Venus setup. And inside of this is the one square for Mercury. Can this fit into here? It could. It'll use up this area here for 
and this area over here four, and there are four fours that go into a nine area, so 16 fits into a nine. Is there a, um, a calculation for what 16 divided by nine is? 16 divided by nine equals 177, or nine divided by 16 equals 5625, times 41. I want to see what that is. Okay, I just wanted to understand it. Anyways, we're going to leave it at that, the video for now. Raphael 7286 in the Constellation of Pegasus. Peace and love.